16.2 question number one the question is find the volume of these objects so you can see here are two objects the first one is cube why because all the sides are equal six centimeters six centimeters six centimeters if you want to find out the cube, uh, volume of this cube we know the equation volume is length into length into length which is equal to length cube that means six here length how much in this question what did they give us they, they have given six centimeter six into six into six you will get how much to one six centimeter cube because six centimeter to six centimeter six centimeter to one six centimeter centimeter centimeter, centimeter cube clear yeah. now the next question the next quantity is cube boy cube boy the length is here breadth is here and height is here so we have to find out volume of that figure that means cuboid volume of cuboid which is equal to length into breadth into height that means here length is 32 and breadth is 32 and height is 50 so that is a centimeter sorry here the first question the length is 6 meter not centimeter okay 6 meter into 6 meter into 6 meter 216 meter cube clear so in this question the length is 32 centimeter here breadth is 32 centimeter and height is 15 centimeter so length into breadth into height if you multiply then you will get how much 15,360 cubic centimeter clear now the next question the third figure it's a container it's look like container here they are they have given uh, radius and the height so volume of cylinder so it's a cylinder okay it's look like cylinder okay volume of cylinder which is equal to how much pi into r square into h pi means we can take here um here 3.14 into how much 3.14 into r r how much radius is here in this question they are already given 15 centimeters is the radius that means 15 square into h how much 18 then you will get 3.14 into 15 square means 15 into 15 into 18 how much you will get 12,770 12,717 centimeter centimeter cube okay 15 centimeter 15 centimeter square yeah. so the volume is how the volume is 12,717 centimeter now, let's say 16.2. Question number two. Fill in the blanks. The first question if we measure the side of a cube in centimeter, then its volume is expressed in cubic centimeter. The answer is cubic centimeter. Volume of da or a dash is length into breadth into height. Length into breadth into height, the volume of cuboid. And volume of cube is length into length into length. That means L cube. That means length cube. Okay. The amount of space occupied by a solid is called its volume. Okay. The number of units, unit cubes of side one centimeter that can into fill in cubical centimeter container. Cubical container of volume sixty centimeter is that means the cube. There is one cubical uh, container is there. Its volume is sixty centimeter cube. Uh, we have some cube, uh, cubes are there. We, are, we have two things. One is cuboid. Okay, and one is cube. Cuboid volume is 60 centimeter cube and cube volume is one cube. So we can put how many uh, cubes we can put into that cuboid. Uh, answer is 60. And F. Dash units cubes of one, uh, side one centimeter can be accommodated in a cubical container of sides four centimeter. Answer is 64 unit cubes of one cube of side one centimeter can be accommodated in the cubic cubical container of side four centimeter. Nice students. Now we are going to discuss exercise 16.2 question number 3b. Sorry, yeah. First question. Find the volume of cylinder whose height is 20 centimeter and radius is radius of base is 28 centimeter. Okay. So here what is given? Height already given 20 and height is 
height is 20 and radius is 28. Okay, what do you have to find out? You have to find out the volume of cylinder. What do you have to find out? Volume of cylinder. Volume of cylinder. You have to find out volume of cylinder. We know the equation. Volume of cylinder which is equal to pi r square into h. What is that? Pi into r square into h. Okay, now we can do. Okay, here already r means the radius already given here 28 and uh, height also is there 20. So directly we can apply these values into this equation. We know pi value is 22 by 7 or 3.14. We can take any value. So here we are choosing 22 by 7. Okay. R square. That means 28 square. 28 square means 28 into 28. Okay. Into height. H means height. Height how much? 20. Understood? So now we can cut this one. 1 7 are 7. 1 7 are 7. And 7 4 are 28. So the remaining things are 22 into. That, mean, that means this 22 into. Divide by 22 by 1. That means 22. 22 into 4 into 28 into 20. So if you multiply, you will get 49,280 cubic centimeter or centimeter cube. Height is 20 centimeter and uh, radius is 28 centimeter. So they are volume is 49,280 Now, question number 2. The question number two is the curved surface area of a cylinder with is for 40 cm square and its volume is 1520 cm cube. Okay, find the height of the pillar. So, uh, here one of the things given here already given the uh, curved surface area. So, I am writing here curved surface area how much for 40 cm square. And volume of that cylinder is 1520 centimeter cube. So, then what do you find out? You have to find out the height of that pillar. You have to find out the height. What do you have to find out? You have to find out the height. We know curved surface area, that means which is equal to 2 into pi into r into x. That's why I'm writing around here. Curve surface area which is equal to 2 pi r x. Clear? Now, volume which is equal to, we know that one, pi into r square into h. Okay? So, the volume is pi into r square into h and curve, curve surface area is 2 pi r h. So, this things are given here. So with the help of this uh, information we have to find out the height of the cylinder. How we can find out the height? It's so simple. You have to listen uh, carefully. So here uh, curve surface area and volume already given and the value of curve surface area and volume also given. Okay. So here we can take like this. Here also you can see the radius and here also height is there. Hmm? If we find out the radius, if we know the radius, then easily we can find out the height. Okay. We have to find out the height. If, if you want to find out the height, before that you have to find out the radius. Without radius, you can't find out the height. Okay. So, we have, first we have to find out the radius of this cylinder. That For that, you can take uh, the volume, volume divided by curve surface area. We can take volume divided by curve surface area, which is equal to what is the volume equation? Pi into r r square. Pi into r square. R square means r into r into r square r into r into h. That means h. Okay. Divided by curve surface area. 2 into pi into r into h. Clear? There are values also. You know that one. What is that? Volume value is 1520 cubic centimeter and curve surface area 440 centimeter square. This much clear? So, what, what we have done? We just 
to the volume divided by curve surface area. We did like that. Volume divided by curve surface area, which is equal to we are giving the equations of those two or volume divided by a curve surface area. The equation we are giving, and that means the values also is given. It's already we are not here. Clear? So now you can see here. Here also one point three point one four. Here also one point three point one four. We can cut these two. And here also one height is there, and here also one height is there. We can cut these two. And here also one R is there, and here also one R is there. We can cut this two. So what is remaining thing? So, so what am I? Curve surface area is equal to. We can write R by two. Here the remaining thing is R by two. What is that? Radius only. Radius is remaining R by two. Which is equal to one thousand five hundred twenty divided by four forty. We can write like that. Clear? Why? Because this h and h cut and r and r we can cut and by and by we can cut the remaining things are r by two. Clear? Here the right hand side what is that? Fifteen twenty fifteen twenty eight same we are all here and four forty same the denominator we are all here. Okay. Now. Now what we can do? We can do the cross multiplication of any other methods. We can find out r by two, which is equal to fifteen twenty fifteen twenty divided by four forty. How much the value will come? Fifteen twenty divided four forty, which is equal to three point four five etc. 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 Something is there. So we are taking the first two numbers, three point four five. So r by two we got three point four five. That means r, which is equal to radius, which is equal to from left hand side, this divide two is going to right hand side, then it's became six point nine zero. That means six point nine. So we got the radio. Sorry, radio, not radius. Six point nine. How much? Six point nine the radius. Okay. So. Now we can apply the value of radius into any uh, or any, any two things. That means here uh, circle surface area and volume is there. We can apply the value of radius in curve surface area or volume. So we are selecting curve surface area here. So curve surface area means two into pi into r into h, which is equal to how much curve surface area is equal to four. Forty clear. Now we know the value of R. I value two into getting three point one four. Okay, three point one four into R by how much? Six point nine into H, which is equal to four forty. Clear. So we are applying this R by U here of that much. Okay. Now we can multiply two into three point one four into six point nine. We can multiply or we can do one thing. H which is equal to four forty divided by this into two is going that side that will happen divide into this three point four from left hand side is going that side divide understood into then six point nine also going this side divide clear that means from left hand side these three things going to the right hand side then it became divide okay that means now they are in the place of denominator that means two means two by one. Three point one four means three point one four by one. Six point nine means six point one nine by one. When it will go from left hand side to the right hand side, then the reciprocal will happen. That means this two it was denominator, sorry numerator. Now it's became as denominator, and three point one four also denominator, and six point nine also comes the position denominator. Clear? Now four forty divided by two into three point one four into six point nine m, which is equal to you will get ten point one five. Okay, ten point one five and extra 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 also there. So here ten point one five we are taking. Okay, here we are choosing three point four five only. One thousand five hundred twenty divided by four forty three point four five and some extra values are there. We we didn't take that one. Why? If we are taking, then we will get one point one three. The value correctly we are taking uh, add value which is equal to three point one four and extra. So if you are taking, then you will get ten point one three. The answer. If you will take, then the div uh, divide and multiply it will become very difficult. That's why we are choosing the first two digits three point four five only. Clear? So according to this question, the add value we got how much six point nine and The height is ten point one five 
centimeter r centimeter okay r which is equal to 6.9 centimeter i which is equal to 10.15 centimeter now question number c the dimension of a metallic cuboid are 100 centimeter 80 centimeter and 64 centimeter it is melted and recast into a cube find the length of each edge of the cube that's our question so in this question what is given here first of all they are said they said it is a cuboid cuboid so cuboid have length how much they are given the length also 100 breadth 84 sorry 80 and height how much height 64 okay so the centimeter okay 100 centimeter 80 centimeter and 64 centimeter so it's a cuboid length is 100 centimeter and breadth is 80 centimeter and height is 64 centimeter before it was cuboid now it became it was like this cuboid their length is 100 and breadth is 80 and height is 64 okay it was like that now what they did they melt uh, that cuboid then they change the shape of that cuboid uh, into a cube what into a cube we know cube sides are always equal okay so what happened this 180 64 what happened this volume of this cuboid same as this cube because the say how much the volume was there the same volume is in uh, cube also clear so the volumes are same but their shape is changed clear so we can now how we can find out the what what they are saying what you want to find out we have to find out what find the length of each edge of the cube we have to find out the length length of this cube that means uh, if length is 5 centimeter all the side have 5 centimeter because cube cube sides always equal to other sides okay to one side, the, if it is five, this one, this one also five, this one also five, this one, this one height, that everything will stay. Understood? So now we understood. Uh, so the cuboid is here and cube is here. Cuboid is here, cube is here. The volume of cuboid we have to find out. From that we can find out the length of that cube. If the one's length is, uh, how much we will get? That will be the length of all side. Okay, the bread and length, everything same in cube. So now we can find out the length of sorry, the volume of cuboid is volume of cuboid is length into breadth into height. So we can give the values here: hundred into eighty into sixty-four. If you will multiply hundred centimeter into uh, eighty centimeter into sixty-four centimeter. So 100 into 80 into 64, how much you will get? You will get 51200. Okay, and that means 64 into 80, uh, 6 into 80, 8 into 60, 480, and 6, 4 into 8, 24, 480 plus, no, 64 into 8, you will get 512. Yeah, 64 into 8, you will get 512, 30, 30. Okay, so uh, length, the volume of this cuboid is length into breadth and height. We are only 100 centimeter, 80 centimeter, 64 centimeter. That means centimeter into centimeter into centimeter that will be cubic centimeter. Okay, three centimeters are there. Two centimeters only there, then we know we will get square centimeter. Now here, one, two, three centimeters are there. That's why we are not cubic centimeter. Clear? So we got the volume. This volume of cuboid, which is equal to volume, this cuboid, volume of cuboid, which is equal to volume of cuboid, we see which is equal to volume of cube. Why? Because we are changing the shape, but the volume is same. Understood? We change the shape, but the volume is same. So here, 5, 1, 2, triple 0, then volume of cube also, how much it will come? 5, 1, 2, 
through zero cubic centimeter. Clear? We know volume of cube which is equal to length into length into length. That means length cube. We know that one. Okay. Length into length into length. That is length cube. Volume of cube which is equal to length into length into length. Is equal to 51,000 to sorry, 5 lakh 12,000. We got the volume of this cube 5 lakh 12,000. Clear? So, length which is equal to length cube, I will write this on vice versa. Length cube which is equal to 512000. How? Five. This is cuboid volume 51, that means 5 lakh 12,000, which is equal to cube volume we know cube volume is equal to length into length into length that's why length cube which is equal to 5 lakh 12,000 I wrote like this clear so it became length cube which is equal to 5 lakh 12,000 then length which is equal to this cube from left hand side it will go to the right hand and then it became cube root of 1 5 1 2 0 0 0 the answer will be 80 the length of uh, the cube is 80 centimeter. 80 into 80 into 80. That means length into length into length. Length and cube. That means 80 into 80. 80 centimeter to 80 centimeter to 80 centimeter. You will get 5 lakh 12,000 centimeter cube. Same as cuboid cube. Clear? Now, question number B. The question is the volume of a room is 5760 cubic centimeter units. If the length and the width of the room are 24 units and 20 units respectively find the height of the room that's all awesome. so here uh, they said the uh, room there's a room is there and its shape is cuboid they didn't say that one but we can understand how we, we understood that one because they are given one length it is 24 all right according to your questions the length and width are 24 units and 20 units. 24 and 20. The breadth is 20. It's clear? So the length is 24 and the breadth is 20. Clear? Now, volume also they give. Given the volume is uh, 5760. So, length of that room is 24 and that is 20 volume already they have given 5760 cubic centimeter clear cubic centimeter what we are find we have to find out the height how do you find out height okay how we can find out we can find out the height so we know the volume of cuboid which is equal to length into breadth into height. Okay, so we can put the values here. Volume, how much we already know that one volume is 1000, sorry, 5760. All right, yeah, which is equal to length 24, breadth 20 into height. So this side I'm keeping here, this 24 and 20 will come right hand, from the right hand side, it will come to the left hand side, then it's begin 5760 divided by 24 into 20, which is equal to height. Clear? Yeah? This 24 into 20 from the right hand side, it will come to the left hand, then it's begin divide. So if you will cut, then you will get. Sorry, first you multiply 5760 divided by 24 into 24, 24 into 24, 48, 48, 40 to 480, which is equal to high. Then you will get, if you multiply the 0, the 0 will cut, and 48 divided by 576, you will get 12. So, high, which is equal to 12 units. You have to write the units properly if you, that means, uh, in question, if it is cubic centimeter, sorry, it is cubic units, okay, so it is 12 units, clear, answer, you have to write the units properly, otherwise you won't get the full mark, okay, so the height of this room is 12 units.